to a gaffer, um, a nil-nil draw at, at home to at Braintree. How, how do you assess that one? No, no, I'm really disappointed. We can, we can. I'm sure we're going to touch the obvious, but um, I was disappointed we didn't win the way, uh, win the game. I, I think so many of my years in football, one of the hardest things to do is to have a group of players that are willing to um, give everything for someone else. It's very sacrificial, and we've got that. So I want to make sure I'm balanced with it because we we have got. A, a really good uh, group of players, a um, really good group of characters, um, but you know now we're starting to throw away points needlessly. And uh, I still thought we should have won with ten men. You know, I really did. I thought we don't make the most of our uh, offensive moments, uh, and with the attacking players that we have at our disposal, um, I think we should be doing better. And I include attacking set plays. Um, I include all the moments that we get fullbacks into the final third, uh, and I want more from them. Can you take many positives out of today when we went down to ten with you know legs of chance creation and you know, staying solid? Yeah, no, I thought we played well. I thought we played well, but you know that that doesn't automatically put points on boards. And, and I'm, we've got to remember this is a competition. It goes on for ten months. Of course, we can be you know reflective like that and balanced like that, but. Once these games go, you never get a chance to get them back. You never get those chance to get those points back, and that's the disappointing thing for me because we had far more um, control over the ball. Um, we had a lot of control out of possession as well, which has kind of become our thing. Um, and we have to we have to have better uh, technical execution in those moments. And again, I still think for all of the brilliant work everyone does, whether they play centre forward or central defence. I still think the most uh, promising offensive moments came from not our, our naturally attacking players. So, look, we, we want more. We're, we're making it as efficient as possible. Before anyone hammers me about efficiency and red cards, we're making it as easy as possible in-game because we don't give away too many chances. So we're only really looking for that one real moment of quality every 90 minutes. And when you think of the 10 corners we had, that's ten free moments to execute quality. Um, so I, I, look, I'm disappointed. I'm, di I'm disappointed for the players as well because 50% of our league so far has been with ten players. And their work ethic, their organisation, their transmit, their transmission from training ground pre-season work to match day uh, league campaign is is really honourable, really honourable. But my job's to always want more, and I want a bit more. Yeah, and you mentioned that obviously three of the six games, unfortunately, going down to ten men. How did you see today's red card? And also, is it an area of concern for yourself? Um, I think, well, I think the, obviously the other two being two yellows is a completely different moment. I haven't seen this moment in true Arsene Wenger deflection style. I've not seen um, the situation uh, at the corner. So I'll have to look at that, but I'll look at that away from Hartlepool United Football Club and in the cold light of day to try and assess any wrongdoing if there is any. The one thing I do know is that I don't imagine Luke Waterfall would ever go to throw his arms, as I'm told, um, at another player on an attacking corner. I mean, we're not talking about a bust up on the centre circle, we're talking about an attacking corner. So, But I will, I will manage that moment and uh, we'll obviously deal with that internally. Yeah, and in uh, unfortunate circumstances, midway through the, the first half, Joel Dixon going down, obviously Adam Smith coming yeah. on. How is Joel's current condition? No, we don't really know yet. That, these things you never really know, unless it's an obvious straight to hospital and x-ray. Uh, we won't know until the inflammation goes down by Monday, um, which is a shame for him. I actually saw him do it. He went to counter um, in the first half. And as he got to the edge of the box, he changed his mind and I just saw his knee drop. And he started to limp, um, and I thought those ones there, when no one's around, they can be really naughty. So, um, I'm, uh, you know, listen, it's a shame for Joel. The timing is the timing with Brad joining, but um, I thought Adam Smith coming off the bench. That's why so many managers go with experienced goalkeepers, right? Because they come into games like they've played the last ten. So I thought Adam was excellent, and his rapport with everyone that he's built up with um, over pre-season was, was, I thought, clear to see. 
I was just going to ask about the back line there. You mentioned Adam Smith, Nathan Sharon playing the majority of the game at centre back and right back, yeah. up against two strong forwards in EF Young and, and John Akinde. Are you pleased with, with how the back four didn't they? Listen, I am ple really pleased with our defensive performance. It'd be, you'd be a fool to not be pleased with uh, their output defensively as a team. Manny de Cerruve doesn't get the credit for his defensive role in these things um, and um, uh, you know I think they're, a, they're an outstanding group and that comes from their character to want to work. So um, look, in that sense we, are, we have covered a massive deficit in our team's inabilities, maybe historical inabilities. Um, I thought the back four were very good, they did as they train, um, they produced what I see day in day out. I thought Parks was excellent as always when he has to step into that, that role. Um, and, and the team in front of it, Craig Sloggett played 90, you know, for the first time, really impressive. Sharon is like Jack in that sense, in that he drops in at centre and he allows me time to think without me, excuse the pun, crapping myself. He allows me to have time to think and balance out because the one thing we couldn't do is make a jump, uh, 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 an anxious decision in that moment because we didn't know how Greg would get through the game. Greg was limping, he's been out for a while. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we had all of the options in front of us because I knew, I knew that if we got to 60 minutes and we were still in the game, I wanted to be a little bit more aggressive with uh, Medine and Mancini so it was about trying to give myself that little bit of time on the side um, and, that, and in Nathan and Jack in particular we have players that have such a disciplined mindset that they can turn their hand into other positions and, and still look comfortable I thought Nathan Sharon was excellent today fantastic and it's excellent to see Gary Medine getting his first out and obviously been out over a year what yeah. does his plan look like from now on to play more <laughs> um, to score a couple of goals, that would be nice. Um, yeah, look, he's a good player and he is really, Gary is really um, down to earth, excited by the opportunity of playing again. This isn't an act, he's not an act. It's very, very, wear his heart on his sleeve. Really pleased to be here and I'm sure we're going to get the, the, you know, the, the benefits of a very good footballer. And it, I said to Disaruve when he came off, I said, you've played every minute of every game. All of the 10 men minutes where you've had to drag yourself between two central defenders, you deserve a rest. He didn't want that rest, but he did. I felt he deserved it after all of those um, those games where he had to really slog it out. So um, Gary gives us that that opportunity to to work around Manny at the moment while Gary gets fitter, and hopefully in time we'll see them together. Just one final one, obviously late last night, uh, Brad Young coming in on loan until the end of the season. How much does that strengthen your, your department? No, very good. It's um, it's been a it's been a summer of um, a jostling with the goalkeeping department. Um, we've now got some real stability. Um, we've had a, a very informed goalkeeper. You can only judge people on how they affect the outcome of games, and goalies have to make a huge uh, effect on the stopping of goals and. Joel, I think, has done that. He obviously, uh, with his injury today, opened the door for another goalie. And then Brad will come in, whether it is for two that are fit or three that are all fit. Um, he'll come in and he will test them. And like everything that I think I try and do, um, it will be a meritocracy. So if he's the best one and I see Monday to Friday that he's number one, he's number one. If it's Adam, it's Adam. If it's Joel, it's Joel.